A while back, I did a video on Japanese mini LPCDs, the first series which came out in 2000. And this is an example of one of those CDs. Elvis, the second album. And you can see that this series came with red hype stickers and they also had uh, resealable plastic covers. The following year, in 2001, they released 10 more CDs, 10 different titles, and I've got all 10 of those to show you today. The first CD in that second series was Loving You. And the packaging was slightly different the second time around. You can see that the hype sticker in this case is blue, not red. And this was actually offering a free gift, different to the first series. In this case, it was a seven inch single with teddy bear on one side and baby I don't care on the other side. As with the first series, the covers are basically identical to the American original LP covers. Just a small print at the bottom of the back cover is different. Even the catalog number on the front is the same as the American LP. And the card that they use for these covers is of a very high quality, just like the first series. The second series, however, came in shrink wrap, not the resealable plastic cover. And if we just compare the first series with the second series, you can see that the orange on the Obi was quite different on the second series here. It was a much deeper, darker orange than on the first series. The second one in the second series was King Creole. You can see that the color has faded a little bit here on this particular Obi and also on the spine the orange has faded slightly. And that's just because some of these CDs, they didn't sell very well at first. I remember coming to Japan in 2003 and finding some of these CDs in the stores. Back then they had a, a Tower Records in Tokyo. And I remember finding some of these CDs on sale in 2003, two years after they'd gone on sale. And so with the bright lights in the shops, the orange on the Obis would fade slightly. All these CDs had a common inner sleeve, which looked like this, and it's based on the old US Elvis LP inner sleeves, showing, in this case, the 10 CDs from this series. And fairly typical for Japanese CDs as well. It came with a separate insert with Japanese liner notes on one side and lyrics on the other. So they all came with this exact same insert. The disc design was based on the original American Black Label LP design. It really doesn't look very much like it because there's no nipper on there, but you can see what they're trying to do. The next one was for LP fans only. Just the 10 tracks on this one. And that was followed by a date with Elvis. And this one maintains the gatefold sleeve that the original LP had. And it also has the tracks on this red sticker here. The inside cover looks like that. And it also opens this side, which I believe is the same as the original LP. Not that way, but that way. After that, we go forward a few years because a lot of the famous albums from the early 60s appeared in the first series. So the next one in this series is Golden Records Volume 3. You can see that this one has a white hype sticker and I believe I explained in the first video that I did. The white hype stickers came when the whole 30 CD series was reissued in 2005. And once again, this hype sticker is for a free gift. And in this case, it was for a box, a storage box, which could hold all 30 CDs. It's a very nice gift, actually. I wish I had one to show you, but I don't have one anymore. There's the back cover. The one after that was 1968's Gold Records Volume 4. Oh, this one's actually a promo. You can see that sticker there over the barcode just here. The next one I have is in person. Again, you can see that has a white hype sticker. The 
Now, in person was released on the orange RCA label, so the disc design has changed to reflect that. They chose to release Back in Memphis as a separate album rather than put those two in a double CD package. This one is also a promo. Next one in the series was Madison Square Garden. It's quite surprising to me that they put this one in the second series because the live albums were very popular in Japan back in the 70s. And that's the back cover. The last one in the series is actually the most sought after. If you're looking to buy these CDs, this is the one that will cost you the most money. Elvis in Concert. And this was originally a double LP, of course, so it comes in the gatefold cover. However, all the songs were able to fit on one disc, so it's not a two CD set. And this was released, of course, on that blue Elvis label design, and so they've done a reasonable job of replicating that here. The good thing about this being on one CD is it didn't cost any more money than the other CD, so you got basically a double album for the price of a single CD. The sound quality on these things is really, really good. It's right up there with that 60 CD set that came out a few years ago. But that's it for today. If you haven't already seen my first video on the mini LP CDs, please check that out. Otherwise, see you next time. Take care. Cheers.